Hey guys, so I recently made my Dutch oven chicken with the Cajun butter under the skin and sometimes you just can't eat all the leftovers. So I'm going to show you how I make barbecue chicken sandwiches with my leftover chicken. So I've already picked, um, I guess that's about two cups of chicken breast. Doesn't matter how much, I'm just making a small amount because that's all I really have left. I really love liquid smoke because I don't have a smoker here at home and whatever your favorite barbecue sauce is. This is one I have because it's 50% less sugar and sodium and as I've stated I do try to do less sodium because you don't need as much as every as much as the ingredients in all of your pre-made stuff are. So to start this I'm just going to simply reach across here Turn it on a lowish, medium heat, whatever you want. I'm gonna grab my kettle with my water. I'm gonna add some water to the bottom, probably about three tablespoons, I guess. And then your liquid smoke, it just depends on how smoky you want your meat to taste. This will actually help you save some, um, you won't have to use quite as much barbecue sauce, which, you know, it's pretty tasty, no matter what you do. So I'm just going to cover it, I guess it's about a tablespoon, tablespoon and a half so far. And I'm just going to let this simmer until it's done and then I'll add the barbecue sauce later. Ignore my dirty stove. I'm thinking the people who lived in this house before me messed up a couple spots. Can't quite get them off yet. But it's going to start smelling like a smokehouse in here because of this wonderful liquid smoke. Um, you just get this at the grocery store. I usually find it, I think, on the condiment aisle near the barbecue sauces and I think the Wishkashir sauce, or however you say that word. And I'm actually going to add a little bit more. Y'all know me at all. My dad barbecued all the time for us, so I like the barbecue smell and taste. I'm going to add just a little bit more water. Then I'm just going to put the lid on and let it simmer 10-15 minutes. That meat's going to get nice and warm and filled with that smoke flavor. And then, oh, let me stir it. Doesn't matter what you use to stir it, but let's get that liquid smoke flavor in all the chicken. You can also do this same recipe with leftover pork. Make pulled pork sandwiches. I've done that before. If you have extra roast, like brisket, very versatile, just really simple liquid smoke, barbecue sauce, and water with whatever leftover meat you have that you want to transform into some type of barbecue sandwich. And again, today this is our Dutch oven Cajun turkey, Cajun chicken. I made a Cajun turkey for Thanksgiving. I keep getting confused. Cajun chicken, and I'm using just the liquid smoke, put that back, and the barbecue sauce and water. Really simple and it should be very tasty. Okay guys, it has been simmering 15, 20 minutes. I did add the rest of my liquid smoke because I did taste it halfway through and it needed it. I also added a little bit more water and I also cracked the lid to let the steam out so the water could boil out. So now, like I said, this is pretty simple. You take your barbecue sauce and you just cover it however much you want. I start off with a little, I guess that's about probably four tablespoons or so. I'm going to add a little bit more water because you don't want to over sauce it yet. Make it to where people can add sauce for themselves. So then just stirring it up, getting it all that sauce incorporated. So between the liquid smoke and the barbecue sauce, it smells like a smokehouse in here, like if you were to go to a barbecue restaurant and order some food, don't worry, the rest of the stove is not on, so nothing should melt. If it does, then oops. But the stove hasn't been on since this morning. That's another, let's say, two tablespoons of barbecue sauce. This is all up 
to your preference. I'm just showing you how I get rid of my leftovers. And if you hear chains clanking in the background, that is my dogs. They are always curious what I'm doing in the kitchen. I think my little one, Saki, was just drinking some water and licking the big one's bowl. So I'm gonna add a little bit more water. And then you're just gonna steam it again. And then taste it and do the same until it's how you want it. Really simple, really yummy. Oh, lid. And this time, because I don't want all that flavor in the water to cook out quite as quick, I'm gonna leave the cover on all the way. But just let it steam, test it again, and we'll be back. Okay, so it's been simmering. It's starting to taste really good, but I'm actually gonna add a little bit more water because I don't want it to burn and stick to the pan. I'm gonna add oh, some more barbecue sauce. I had to flip it to the bottom. And seriously, use whatever barbecue sauce you have on hand. Whatever one's your favorite, it doesn't matter because if it's your favorite, you're gonna like it. And then I'm gonna just stir it up. And I splashed, let me stir and then get a napkin. Let's see. Okay, we got it up. So I'm gonna move it to the back burner, the lid, and then I'm actually going to turn it just on low. I'm gonna take another pan. And then I'm gonna start heating it up. Let's see. So I'm taking that pan. Heating up, I'm gonna add only about a tablespoon of butter. I decided I had some bell pepper in the fridge and a half an onion. So these barbecue sandwiches are also going to have sauteed onions and bell peppers, which sounds pretty darn good right now. So I got my spatula ready, my barbecue chicken still simmering in the back, and I've sliced my yellow bell pepper into sticks and my onion. I just chopped it the best I could because I only had half of one left. So butter's melting. I want my pan kind of kind of warm because I don't want it I don't want to put my vegetables in a cold pan. So that butter looks almost properly melted. Let's see. Okay, I like the way that's looking right now. It's however you feel like. If you want to wait till it's all the way melted, that's fine too, but I'm gonna get everything in there. I also have my oven preheating to 450. I got some frozen french fries I'm gonna um, bake. And that just follows the directions on the pan. And my onion, as you can see, it's, you know, so it's just a half a leftover onion I had in the fridge. So right now I'm gonna get everything covered in butter. I'm gonna let it start sauteing. I'm also gonna add um, just a little bit of salt and pepper. So just to give it a little flavor, sprinkle of salt, sprinkle of pepper. Again, to your taste, if you wanna add some garlic powder, some Mrs. Dash, that's all great ideas. I think I've done all of that before. This is also how I would start making my fajita veggies if I was making fajitas. And you can do that with the leftover chicken too. Just add some taco sauce, seasoning, like the little packets, whatever one's your favorite. I use Mrs. Dash typically because, well, no salt and I cook low sodium. That's my, one of my main things when I'm cooking is try to eliminate salt. So you have to boost the flavor up somehow. So I'm just gonna keep sauteing these until they're soft and get the fries in the oven. And then I have some homemade bread. I used a recipe from butter with a side of bread or bread with a side of butter. Can't remember the website's name right now, but it's really, really good bread. Super easy. It takes like 30 minutes of prep time, I think, and it's delicious. So that's gonna be my bread tonight too. So homemade chicken, slow roasted in the Dutch oven, now BMA made as barbecue chicken, sauteed uh, 
onions and bell pepper. And again, this is just whatever I had in the fridge. If you have green bell pepper, go for it. If you don't have any bell pepper, leave it out. I also have some pickles. I'll probably add pickles to my sandwich. I like pickles on my barbecue sandwiches. If you have cheese, add it. Whatever your favorite is, can't go wrong. It's your favorite here. And then some french fries. And those are starting to really sizzle. So let's give it a stir. And break everything up a little bit more. But with two pots and you have a full meal. And you didn't have to really put a lot of effort into this. Chop the onion and the bell pepper. Took the chicken off the bone. Simmering is the main thing here. Really simple, easy leftovers for when you're coming home from work. And one day, hopefully, we'll all be back in our regular work after this pandemic is under control. And these easy weeknight meals with your leftovers will come in handy. My veggies have been sauteing, you know, five minutes or so on medium heat. A trick I learned when making French onion soup to get your onions to caramelize, add a pinch of sugar. So that's probably about a, a teaspoon, I think. And then when you stir it, it helps bring, this is my guess, I'm not a chef by any means, didn't go to culinary school, but that sugar, it helps bring out the sweetness in those onions and that's what gives them their color. That is one of the big tricks I've learned. So you just keep stirring until they're how you like them. Mine are almost fun because I've got some nice good color on my bell peppers. The onions are getting their color. It smells really good in here between the barbecue and the, the vegetables. And cook these however long you want. If you want them really crispy, like crunchy, don't cook them so long. If you want them really tender and soft, Maybe cut them smaller and saute longer. But I like mine kind of how they are right now. And as you can see, the onions are starting to get that caramelized color. So this should go really good on that sandwich. So I'm going to just turn these off in a minute and then let the fries cook. I should have been doing that while I was cooking. So this isn't all coming together at the same time, but we are almost there. Look at all that beautiful color. Really pretty. And just keep stirring till it's done. Mine are about done. I'm gonna turn the stove off, I think. So now that everything's done, you just assemble your sandwich. Cheese, veggies, if you have lettuce, if that's what you want. Pickles, whatever you want, but this is my dinner for the night. All in all, if you cook it all at the same time, you can have this ready in under 30 minutes, which is great for a weeknight. I also toasted my bread because I think toasted bread is just delicious. Enjoy and tune back in.